We're going to be welding some thin aluminum. This is about 30 thousandths thick, just a standard 3003 series aluminum there. Not leaving any gap in that aluminum. Just a very, uh, stick it right together on my bricks. Now, that's just a standard TIG or heliarc rod that you get at any welding supply. We use just a little flux. I've got a little bit of our aluminum welding flux mixed up as a paste right here. We have the fluxes. We sell those. You can get them at some of the welding supply houses. We uh, just mix it with some water, and uh, that breaks that oxide layer on that aluminum down. Again, that's just an 1100 rod. You can use the 4043, the 5356, according to which alloy that you're welding. This is what you're looking for welding the aluminum. See the puddle? It looks like jello. If you get it too hot, it'll fall out the bottom. But that's what we're looking for. The puddle looking like jello. Dip that rod in the puddle. On the aluminum, a little different than the steel, of course it's not going to turn red. You just get a little wrinkle effect. It looks kind of like jello. I hope you can see that in the camera there. Now once it gets to that molten state, we want to just touch that rod to that molten puddle. Just dip the rod in the puddle, pull it right back out. Just dip the rod in, pull it right back out. Just dip it in, pull it right back out. It's very similar to TIG weld. You get a nice weld bead. And keep in mind that's dirty aluminum, and most importantly, 100% penetration. The weld is just as strong as a TIG weld. You can bend it any way you'd like even across the weld and it's not going to go anywhere. Again, that weld just as strong as a TIG weld. The strength is there, the tensile strength and the yield strength are equal to that of TIG. You can weld heavier cast aluminum. You can weld up to about half inch, three eighths inch thick cast. Even up to one inch if you preheat the whole casting, cylinder heads, blocks, manifolds. Just preheat the whole block to about six or seven hundred degrees and go in and weld it with the appropriate rod. Again, preheating is very critical on the thicker aluminum.